in the Westfield Marriott Hotel in Chantilly, Virginia. So we have him on video entering the hotel, and we would like for you gentlemen to go inside the hotel and arrest Kissinger for his war crimes. Former Secretary of State Henry Kissinger has been deeply involved in the Bilderberg Group, attending dozens of their meetings over the years and acting on the Bilderberg Steering Committee. Kissinger faces allegations of war crimes for his involvement in the secret bombing campaign that took place in Cambodia during the Vietnam War in the 1970s. It is alleged that Kissinger willfully engaged in the murder of tens of thousands of civilians in various areas of Cambodia, which led to the destabilization of the country into a civil war, resulting in the rise of the infamous Khmer Rouge. Kissinger is also wanted in several countries for his involvement in supporting the Pinochet regime and the CIA-backed coup that took place in Chile on September 11, 1973. Pinochet, who is now facing a war crimes tribunal, murdered the democratically elected President Salvador Allende and started a military junta, which resulted in the kidnapping, forced displacement, and torture of thousands of men, women, and children in Chile. Henry Kissinger actively supported these actions that were taking place at that time, which constituted crimes against humanity. Kissinger was also involved in a controversial study in 1974 called National Security Study Memorandum 200 in which the basic thesis called for an active campaign for the depopulation of several less developed countries to stem the risk for civil unrest. Are you still giving out orders like Memorandum 200 where you said depopulation should be held? Sir, just a question. I'm not going to go to hell because... Memorandum 200, sir? Where did you Memorandum 200? Just ask him a question about Memorandum 200 that he wrote in April 24, 1974. It's an honest question. Okay. Kissinger, Memorandum 200. Depopulation. We're on topic now. We I came know. here, we give you the access. If you want to burn bridges, you can do that. I don't want to burn any bridges. I didn't, I wasn't disrespectful. I wasn't accusatory. It was a serious We're question. We're on topic. Okay, I understand that. So, what about the depopulation? I mean, Memorandum 200. Uh, why, why, why are you afraid to talk why about your depopulation plan? Why don't you get lost? Why should I get lost? It's serious. You're sick person. Sick person. How am I sick? You're the one committing. Oh. What does it do when you get 120 of the most powerful people in the world getting together to have meetings with government officials? I mean, that, that's amazing. Well, it is. This is what I mean, is that they're planning the corporate agenda. They're not uh, planning the uh, democratic human journey agenda, in my opinion. Mussolini had a, a definition, is when the interests of the corporation take completely over from all other interests, and that's fascism. He said it should probably be called corporatism. Well, call it corporatism, call it fascism, call it neo-lib, neo -con There's a whole variety of political words, depending on which side of the stripe you come from, to start with, which describes the thing. But what they are describing is the complete end of democracy, the end of what matters to people, the end of what happens to the human journey. And for that reason, I think this is revolting.